Hi viewers, this is Dr. Jana and I, you are welcome to our MinStack development and in this MinStack we will be mainly going for this React, actually it is Mern stack. Okay, This React, uh, it is a front-end JavaScript library and it is originally developed by the Facebook, that is the important thing we should understand. Then it is also supports cross-platform. Uh, and the top competitors for this uh, React.js, it is the Vue.js and also AngularJS. These are the two top competitors. But actually, uh, if you see the statistics, uh, React.js, it is the leading position and it is around 40 percentage developer they are using this React.js uh, for this front-end uh, design and the remaining 20 percentage they are using for Angular and other things also they are using. Okay? So main thing that it is a modern stack. So modern stack you will clearly understand first one is the MongoDB, second one is the Express.js, R is the React.js, what we will be studying today's, and the fourth one it is the Node.js. So, uh, the main thing is that, uh, the requirement is that you must know what is the JavaScript, that is the only thing it is required, other things we can manage that is not an issue. And here the concept is that, it is using a virtual DOM, this virtual DOM it is just like a JavaScript object, and we are having the real DOM, and but here we are using the virtual DOM, what is the difference, in the virtual DOM, the entire page is to be updated but here only a section of that one it is updated that's why it is faster that's why we go for this virtual dom right and uh, for this background we should have little knowledge about the javascript otherwise we, there is no problem so we'll be covering all things and remember one thing as i told that react is a it is a library based and it's a component based library so everything here is taken as a component small small components and uh, every location is a component based it is just like a tree structure uh, every a location is a component based that you remember and this component it is a small piece of user interface try to understand this component what you are discussing it is just a small piece of user interfaces and there is no concept of uh, J, uh, javascript dom api is not used here that is the thing you have to remember and this user interface uh, it is to independent reusable parts okay so the main purpose of this user interface it is to uh, create independent reusable parts that is the main thing and we are having uh, two type of uh, uh, things here, one is the functional, one is the uh, class uh, uh, based. So in the functional, uh, you can see the um, thing here, you can see uh, how, what, is the, what, what is the things here, uh, syntax, import uh, this component from React, you are using, this is the functional type and the class based, class example extends components, then use the render and in the render uh, method, so return div hello world so like that it will be going for that one in the previously uh, we are using like this import uh, react from react now that is also we are not using directly you can go for the creating um, the um, uh, functions here the uh, arrow function we are creating uh, constant example which is got the functions arrow key functions returned uh, div hello directly we can go for these things and nowadays also we are using the jsx uh, here directly you can write the return uh, deep class name is equal to something greetings and h1 hello and the property dot name what is the name you put it there then um, you close it okay then the most important thing how do we uh, install and set up this uh, react environment so there are two way we can create it manually using the webpack or the babel and the babel and another way that we can create it uh, create using this command create hyphen react hyphen app this is the command we use it so how you work on that one so i will give a demonstration for that one let us have small theory here so first you create a directory i uh, suppose i want to create a directory react uh, underscore app uh, you can write my first react or whatever i am writing uh, creating a folder that is react underscore app okay so this you create it here in the e drive or any drive you want to show uh, then you change the directory to react app you are there then then you just uh, type this command npx space create uh, this is the react create react create hyphen react hyphen app this is the thing only what i told you that this is the thing create react app so this is the command you are using and dot uh, slash so this is the thing it will create it there and the number of uh, module and everything it will be created under that one then to run that one you just uh, run npm uh, space start once you run data in the by default by the port number 3000 you can run that program okay now let us move to our uh, uh, coding part now in the coding part you see what i told you that i by default you here 
uh, you type the start here okay you start the in the start you type the command once you type the command prompt cmd then it appears like this the first one c users dr gunamanjana just i want to go to the e drive so e colon enter uh, then you create a folder like react underscore app then how do you do that mkdir space react underscore app enter it there so it is there then you change your directory cd space react underscore app then you you are there inside this directory okay then you go into this code um, uh, space dot then you you are there inside this one you are uh, inside this one you, you are already there right so now what you need to do here uh, yeah yeah what you need to do here you are here there now <coughs> Uh, I told you that to create that one to install that one we need to use the command npx space create react app this is the command you have to put it here just I am typing uh, you are already there the react uh, underscore app there I am typing npx space create hyphen react hyphen app space dot slash so it is creating you can see all the things it is created everything is created here and it is showing all things are there and once it is created it is asking you to run with the uh, npm start okay so you see it, it is it has success, successfully completed the installation and everything then uh, it is already running and just you uh, type it that npm start you go for the npm start okay i think it already it is done here mm, yeah then you uh, then when you are starting all the things it is showing you go to the local host 3000 port number so once you go to our port number and you check it here in the um, otherwise you do it here don't worry for these things so local host local host uh, instead of uh, this put the 3000 because here by default you taking 3000 enter it here now you can see uh, react is successfully running can you see here so you can clap your back you have successfully installed and you already run your first program uh, that is how uh, the react is installed and configured fine so this is all about the uh, first part of our react js where we have given a brief idea about what is this react js and purely i want to tell you again this purely a component based what is a component based you see this is a, a page is there oh there on the top something is there here also something rotating here also something there left hand side something may be there so these are small small components what it happens whenever um, in the real dome we refresh the entire page we update the uh, entire page but here only a part of that is the refresh that's why it is fast and it is most widely used by the developer and it is specifically used by the modern modern stack okay thank you for watching this video if you like this video please do share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe this also uh, this channel mm, and the next part we'll be going for writing our first program and some other things thank you thank you for watching have a good day